Hey, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. So we are doing another Jet Engine Dynamic Visibility mini-series videos. So today's video, I'd like to show you how to restrict the content by age. So for example, uh, if you are selling tobacco or liquor product and you want to hide some dedicated section on the shop page. So for example, uh, we got uh, the food drink menu landing page here and then when you click drinks menu here and you see those soft drinks and some liquors and beer right but if users are under the age you know you want to hide those items and also some promotional banners uh, you want to hide those happy hours 10 percent off or any liquor promotional items right so so if you are selling like alcohol product, for example, you want to check uh, if your users are or customers are uh, the certain age. So um, so you can get them to like register or log in. So for example, I'll show that to you. So let's put my name here. And then let's just put, uh, let's say, uh, Okay, and then uh, let's put um, uh, age, I'm still maybe 17 years old, and then sign up. And then after uh, register, it takes your user back to a landing page. So let's go to drinks. Because I signed up as a 17 years old, which is under the age, uh, for drink, under the drinking age, so I see only soft drinks. And also the banner is, I see only two uh, soft drinks banners now and as probably you noticed that the register and login buttons also hidden uh, this is because of the based on the jet engine dynamic visibility function all right so let's do this again so i'm gonna sign in as a uh, over drinking age this time Now, so uh, drinking age here is 19. So I'm gonna just, uh, let's say I'm gonna put that 21 here and then sign up. So back to landing page, let's go to drinks. Now you can see now you can buy uh, liquors and beer. And also you see that the promo code for happy hours and then uh, Tuesday liquor special. All right, so this is uh, what you can do with dynamic visibility widget. So let me show you how to do this. So first I'm using uh, WooCommerce and adding those product. Now I added some categories here. So I got the alcohol and the soft drinks. So, so those two categories. So when you go to, um, for example, Heineken, so I put the alcohol for that. So let's work on this drink menu page. So uh, I'm going to use, uh, I think a product list uh, widgets. So this is a part of Jet um, Ooh, WooCommerce Builder uh, plugin. So I'm gonna just drag and drop. All right, and it's showing kind of everything here. Um, so I'm gonna be using um, category, okay, and then here uh, I'm gonna be including only soft drink here so you see just soft drink right and then uh, so let's see so I'm not gonna be uh, showing a category here again it's up to you and I like to put the show quantity input here okay and go to style uh, I like to go to content here so I'm gonna make alignment on the left hand side um, I like this way better. So I'm gonna just duplicate this and then uh, make sure this is selected and then go to content. Instead of uh, soft drink, I'm gonna choose alcohol here. So it's kind of two categorized products here, right? So one up here is soft drink and the bottom here is categorized by alcohol. So I'm gonna just hit update here. And the bottom here, so I created some promotional banner here. So these are just images, okay? So just images, just two columns. And uh, so these are just a uh, text editor and this is just a button here, right? So login, those are just uh, 
a simple button. Uh, this register button, I think I used, uh, hang on here. I think I used the jet pop-up. So I'm using a registration form. So I created the registration form with a jet form builder and then just the using jet pop to pop up. So you see, so this is the page here. So when you click it, you see the pop-up form here. So I just use a build of registration form and they're using a jet pop-up for that. All right, before I explain about the dynamic visibility, so let me just uh, uh, show you one thing. Let's uh, go back to dashboard. And then right here, go to jet engine. So go to um, Metabox here. So I created here, it's called age. So under Metabox here, see that? So I'm gonna just uh, click here to edit, show you what's inside. So this is pretty simple. So the Metabox title is age and this Metabox for, for user, all right? And then, so right here, so the meta field is, I just labeled as age and then name slash ID is age. And then object type is field. And then field type is just simple number here. All right, uh, all right. so, and then just uh, hit update. Now I show you, let's go to users. So I got, uh, for example, this user here, right? So if you scroll down here, so you see the meta field for age. So this is the age, right? And then quickly show you the jet form builder. And then here is the registration form. And I'll quickly show you, so here is the age here. All right, so that's where the age is. So when you go here, here so this is where you can put the age here all right so i'm going to just uh, open up the jet engine here and also make sure that um this dynamic visibility widget and section you, sh you should be enabled that just to make sure this is on all right so let's see so i would like to show so these items only users who registered and logged in all right so let's just click this section here so this is a product list on the soft drink part now go to advanced and here you see dynamic visibility and then you gotta turn this on so here is show element if condition met so you want to show these products only for logged in user all right, so you pick that. So that's logged in. And then just let's hit update. Now the next one is all call section. So those product, so let's click select and they go to advance and then dynamic visibility. So you make sure you turn this on. So show element if condition met. Now here is the same thing. So you wanna show this, these products user who logged in, right? So select that and you hit add item. So who user who logged in and also you pick greater than. So here, so you wanna pick age. So go to custom field and here, so you can pick age. So that's the user meta field we created earlier and here so the drinking age here in canada is 19 so pick 19 here right and then right here so data type so you want to pick a numeric all right so hit update and the bottom banner here too so you can pick uh, those are just individual images but uh so this is just the uh, one section here the inner section so I'm gonna pick this inner section, those in, contains those two images, and then hit advance, and then dynamic visibility, and then enable it. So show element if condition met. And right here, you pick 
uh, user who logged in and you're going to add item and then another condition is so good uh, it's going to be greater than so this field is pick custom field and you gonna select age so our drinking age is 19 and make sure data type select numeric and hit update so let's go to um uh, click this and i'm going to just uh, put the Okay, so I'm going to pick age, um, so I'm going to do, um, let's say 33, and then sign up. All right, so uh, just back to landing page, hit the drink. So now you see everything here, including alcohol, like those banners too. Now, this is kind of funny, like I registered and logged in already, so I don't want to show those buttons. So again, so you can hide those with dynamic visibility widget. So let's uh, let's go to the Elementor. Okay, so let's go to, um, so I'm gonna select, so this is a text, just to add in text and then go to advance and here dynamic visibility and then turn this on. And then I'm going to next time hide hide element if condition met and then condition is I'm gonna select user logged in so if user logged in this is gonna be uh, hidden right so same as those buttons too I'm gonna do the same thing and then uh, go to advance and then dynamic visibility turn this on and hide so I'm actually I did that already hide element if condition met and the condition is user who logged in. So same as this login button too. And then same thing, hide element if condition met and the user, condition is user logged in. All right, so let's uh, hit update. Now let's go back to this private window and let's refresh. So I think I'm already logged in, right? So see, this is hidden. It's cool. Now let's close this and open new uh, private window and then uh, register again. So I'm going to do um, and I'm going to be using and then password. And then now I'm gonna change the age. Uh, let's say I'm gonna be using uh, 17 and then sign up. So this is under the drinking age. So let's go to drinks. So as you see that all the alcohol uh, product category is gonna be hidden. And then here, even the banner uh, was hidden too. So let's kind of go back to this element tour so this section for example once again so if uh, your country i mean drinking age is different from uh, where, where you live so let's say your country is drinking age is let's say much younger than us like 17 uh, hit update and go to this page now this user is remember it's 17 years old, right? So let's hit the refresh here. And then now you see the all color menu here, right? I think this is really helpful if you're selling any product, something like tobacco or liquor product that, um, that only like a certain age uh, can buy legally. So I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.